What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides and welcome back to Volkswagen Brandon in Florida with the new ID4 electric SUV. Now I know charging, it's a scary thing, right? It's, it seems overwhelming, you know, you just don't know what to do when you need to charge up the battery on your new EV. So I'm gonna show you guys from start to finish what it's like to charge up your EV and how easy, simple and intuitive it is to just plug, play, relax, and come back to a fully charged vehicle so you guys can carry on with your day. So with that said, let's take a look at the process and how it all works. Now, just like other level two chargers, this is a charge point charger where you guys would see these in public places. And this is one you would pay for to charge your vehicle. Now with this, we're gonna be using the dealership's free charger, well, free to me, but these are charge point chargers to where these, well, they have to be unlocked in order for you to use them. And obviously you have to have a cart there to do so. But these will plug in the same way as you would plug in any kind of ID4, depending on if you do a level one, level two, level three, all those kind of charges, chargers will be through a different charge point, a Volta charger, Electrify America, things like that. But we're gonna show you what it looks like on a regular charger. So on my 5.3 inch configurable screen, you guys will see that we're pretty low here, 8%. 21 miles so around 10 to 80 percent in that charge range it's going to take a few hours to get fully charged up and you'll see kind of where we're at once we get everything plugged in but on a full charge you're at 275 miles of range in the id4 now the id4 recommends around 80 percent if you're doing daily driving, only go up to a full 100% charge if you plan on taking a trip. And I'll show you what I mean here. As you guys can see in our 12 inch screen, we're gonna press the charging icon to get to our charging screen. Really cool animation there. And it shows you guys the same thing we saw on a um, multimedia screen for the digital instrument cluster is that we have 21 miles, 8%. So it wants you to charge to 80%. That's the recommended charge. As you guys can see, we already have it set there, but if we were going on a trip, we can go all the way up to maximum 100% charge. But again, it says recommended 80%. So now I slid it back down to 80%. Now there's a couple other things you see here. This is for save charge locations. So additional charging functions are available at up to five charging stations. And the settings will be saved automatically at the respective location. So you can save your charging stations there. And if we press settings here, you can see the different ways we can do our settings where we can unlock the AC charger automatically but you can actually just lock the car and it stays locked or you can unlock it and unlock it but you can do it automatically this way you can reduce ac charging current and you can do battery care mode now if i go over to that it kind of gives you the conservation of the battery and everything here in the full explanation of battery care mode to have a fully optimized battery to help keep it you know at its best form so there's a couple different things you can do when it comes to charging but Let's get right to charging this and kind of see how the process works. So we're gonna be using the dealership's fast charger as you guys will see here, but I will show you the process and what everything looks like when charging your ID4. So you guys will see that the charge door is on the passenger side rear. Now with that, if this car is locked, it will not open up that door. And if this car is locked, it will not pull the charger from that charge door. Also, while in progress of charging, it will not pull that charger from the charge door. So you don't have to have anxiety of plugging it in and somehow it being coming disconnected or someone pulling the plug on you while you're out running your errands and letting your uh, car charge. So first thing we'll do is unlock it. And then once we unlock it, we can actually open up the charge door just like that. Now, as you guys can see, it has two charge ports, one for your level one charger and two for your level two fast chargers. So you guys will pull this to have the fast charging plug in. And that's what we will do today in order to get us to our destination the quickest. But we do have an onboard 11 kilowatt charger that we'll have for this model. But for this specific spec, we actually have a dual setup. And I'll show you guys right now. We have an option to set up charger where we have a 240 volt and 120 volt multi-charger so this is actually two chargers in one now this is an option and as you guys can see we have the plug-in here for both setups so we have the regular charger and then the plug-in for the 240 volts so this is something that you can option your id4 for when it comes to charging now if you're wondering what this diagram is for well we do have 
a status light right there to the top left. Now this status light will tell you everything you need to know. So the top left here is actually the initiation process, which you will see that it will start to blink and kind of do the setup process to charge, but it is not charging when that is blinking. Then the blinking green, that's the initiation charging. That's when it's actually going to be in the process moving forward. And we know that it is just waiting to charge when it gets to kind of go ahead and you know i guess the inputs from you on the user side then this is the charging method when it's actually charging and going through that process and then this is when it's completely charged solid green so you guys will see those different stages here today so since we have a fast charger here you guys can see that we have two plug-in ports and again that's why we remove that cap at the bottom here so we can expose both of those to plug it into the car so that's what we're going to do plug it in and i'm not going to be so gracious doing this but there we go now the first thing we're going to see is the blinking white light and we know what that means that means well it's starting to communicate with the car but it's not starting the charging process yet and there's a reason why in our case is because we have to actually go to the dealership's charging setup and press start now once we press start Let's see, there we go. Now it's, it's preparing to charge. Now this is gonna be a prepare process, process where you will start to see that this is gonna start blinking green. So it's got the white still. So we're waiting on it. So we have the flashing white. It's giving us that wait light. Now I think I just heard the car make a noise and there we go. Now we have green and the flashing green to start. And now we're gonna have the pulsating green, which means that we are actually charging and that's all according to that diagram there so now you guys can see that we're charging now if you have any kind of reservations let's go inside and double check and make sure that that's exactly what we're doing now we're inside of the id4 and as you guys can see on the digital instrument cluster here well we don't have much of an indication but a flashing green plug that definitely lets us know that something's going on right but we still see eight percent and 23 miles there well it did change because we were just at what 21 22 but really you'll get the full report here at your 12 inch screen showing that we have our current end time at 409 p.m right now it is for uh, 12 49 p.m so that lets you know that it's going to be a couple of hours before we get all the way to 80 percent currently we got up to nine per nine percent from eight percent so we're at nine percent we gotta get to 80 percent and it's gonna take a couple hours as you guys can see between that time frame right now we have 24 miles that we have completely on this model charged up and we're charging at 50 miles per hour 15 kilowatts now that may jump up and down as they do with all evs depending on the current charge rates and everything that's going on you guys will see that different and since we're on a fast charger you know you might not get these kind of chargings, uh, charging setups, you know, when it comes to that. So, you know, it just depends on what kind of kilowatts you're getting and what kind of charger you're plugged into. If you're at, you know, a, a fast charging station, it might be higher. If you're at home, it's definitely gonna be a lot lower. So it just depends on where you're at. Now, keep in mind, once this vehicle is locked or once it's charging, that will not pull out. I'm gonna show you guys actually right now. So the vehicle isn't currently locked, but it is in the charging process. And on the screen, there was a button to press to say, stop charging. Well, we didn't press it. So if I tried to unplug this while it's still charging, it's not letting me. You guys see, I'm wiggling it. I'm pressing the button. It is not letting me pull that off because it's in the process. It's locked in. And again, that's a peace of mind that if you were to lock your car or if it's in the charging process, you can't just easily unplug it and stop that process. So we'll go around just to kind of give you guys a peace of mind to let you know it is still charging. Even though I tried to pull it out, it did not stop charging. So you guys can see we are still at 15 kilowatts, 51 miles per hour on the charging stuff. So it's as easy as that, guys. And our charge time has changed. So now that it's one o'clock, what well, we have until 2.15, so about two hours and 15 minutes until we are going from 13% to 80%. So just to kind of give you a scale on time, depending again, what kind of kilowatts you're using, 
we went from 15 to 20 so that's why our time went down a little bit plus we had time added to the battery so it hired the percentage which lessened also that time so again it really depends on how many kilowatts you're getting on your charge that will affect the timing it takes to get from whatever percent you're at to the uh, charge that you actually set and now that we've let it charge just a little bit i want to show you that our indicator here has changed a little bit right not only is it at 39 miles but it's also at 13 percent when it comes to the battery charge and it shows a yellow indicator over it being red which means we're in a little bit safer space i also want to keep in mind before we actually for, forget you know once we're done charging here there's actually a status bar light in the front on the dashboard and it actually illuminates showing you kind of like a status bar of how far your car has charged that's also a cool easter egg but we're gonna stop the charge so let's actually just press the button stop charge please wait it's gonna unlock that charge port for us the status light is gonna change all right and then that's it so you guys can see charging canceled now we'll get out and we should be able to just unplug it you guys already saw before that we couldn't just unplug it because it was charging our status light has went from green to white and we should be able to just pull it out just like that so again it just kind of gives you a sense of security to know that there's only a couple ways you can pull this thing out so now that you guys have seen how to charge your id4 from start to finish and how simple everything was what do you guys think drop those comments down below and if you guys want to help further support the channel check the link in the description to get this specific id4 or any other id4s here at volkswagen branded make sure you guys also subscribe but click the notification bell and we will see you guys in the next video peace